Hey guys, this is Larry from the Oregon Coast. It is August 12th. It's about 70 degrees out. Uh, a few weeks ago, I started this little experiment. I was watching uh, Media Maker 2000's uh, one of his videos, and he had this exact setup, so I copied his setup. But I started this uh, the very beginning of this little experiment on another video. So um, it was on my compost uh, T hydrophonic video, but that video was getting too long, so I had. I'm going to separate these two. But this was the runt. Believe it or not, this thing is about four months old. In the last two weeks, this thing has really taken off. So, um, hang on a second. But I planted, um, I started a bunch of pepper plants from seed this year. It was my first time doing it. And this little guy was a runt. And uh, so I figured, it, you know, why not give him a shot, see what happens. But since I put him in this solution, this thing's really taken off. You know, if you can tell, there's little, I finally got little jalapenos flowers starting to come through, so I might just end up with the world's smallest jalapeno plant that produces a jalapeno. Alright, I'm going to be a little shaky here, I'm going to try to show you the roots here, so I apologize if I make you get you, get you a little bit of motion sickness going on, but roots are looking really, really good, and this is, um, yeah, doing really good. And all this can, it was a Folgers coffee can, and uh, I was having a little bit of algae problems, so I ended up um, throwing some black paint on there, and uh, that solved the problem. But we will be back in a week. This thing's really starting to take off. I just about gave up, and this, this plant was actually so weak, I had to use this rock here to kind of to hold the stem up. It just wouldn't even, it was, wouldn't even, <coughs> sorry, wouldn't even stand up on its own. And the poor bugs even try to put this thing out of its misery, but, you know, everybody loves the underdog, and this is my underdog, so let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, guys, we'll see you back in a week. Hey, guys, it's August 26th, and uh, I'm going to do a little update here on my little jalapeno plant. As you can see, this guy is really taking off here, so I'm going to come in for a closer look here. I'm actually starting to get a little flowers here, so calling this guy a little rocky so I just might end up getting a few peppers out here like I was saying world's smallest uh, jalapeno plant and we'll get some peppers out of there I'll take a close up with the roots here real quick roots looking really good not not as white as a lot of videos I've seen but so far so good the little guys hanging in there and uh all right, we'll come back in probably two more weeks. I've been changing the water out every two weeks, so probably do an update in two more weeks. All right, guys. Hey, guys, it's September 9th, and uh, it's been two weeks since I did an update on my little mini hydro. But check out Rocky, little Rocky. He's doing all right, man. He's doing all right. He's getting little peppers all over the spot, all over the place, sorry. And uh, he's doing awesome. Can't I'm really sold on this hydro. I'm definitely, uh, definitely going to take this thing the next step for it. And uh, all right, let's take a look at the roots. And that's pretty awesome. Not bad for a plant that was going to was going to end up in the compost pile. This stuff's pretty cool. Just uh, throw some water in it, air stone, a little bit of a nutrient, and uh, that's it. Easiest thing I've ever done. But pretty impressed. Really impressed. This little guy. Uh, not doing bad, not doing bad. Alright, well, let's see in a couple weeks if we can get a pepper off this thing. Alright guys, take it Hey guys, it's November 12th, and uh, remember this little guy? Little Rocky. Anyways, I moved him indoors in my first attempt at growing indoors, but uh, it's getting way too cold. So, so far, uh, he's doing good. Let's take a close up. Oh yeah, we got peppers. So, uh, this guy's doing really good. My first attempt at growing indoors. Um, one of the issues I notice, I'm going to shake it all over, is, see that right there? It's really wet and really soft. And uh, I know peppers don't like to be wet, but uh, it's been like this for quite a while. But, um, it's still alive, still flowering. And uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep it going until it either dies or uh, not sure. 
All right, let's take a look at the roots. All right, there we go. Just in there, stone, coffee can, a little bit of water, a little bit of a box farm nutrients. Yeah. Not a very big root mass for uh, this pepper plant, but uh, I've never done this before. So uh, I'm gonna try to keep this thing alive till the spring, and uh, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to do this update for uh, Dale at Media Maker. This is a uh, I copied his little setup there. All right, guys, have a good one.